Welcome back to Mid East in Depth. Today our focus is on Egypt and responses across the media to the death sentences issued to Mohamed Morsi along with other members of the Muslim Brotherhood at the weekend. The editorial in the New York Times states that if Egypt's first democratically elected president were to be hanged to death by the state, it would be a profound injustice. The editorial asserts, executing Mr. Morsi, who was sec sentenced to on Saturday, would turn an underwhelming former statesman into a martyr. It would also send an unfortunate and needless signal to Egyptians who have historically been averse to militancy that taking up arms might be the only way to be heard. It continues, a surge in terrorist attacks during the past two years, including recent ones targeting judges, suggests that armed violence is increasingly becoming an acceptable response. Quoting Emad Sahin Shaheen, an Egyptian scholar, these sentences are yet another manifestation of the deeply troubling way the Egyptian judiciary has been used as a tool to settle political disagreements by the harshest and most repressive means possible. The editorial adds, in response to the sentences, the Muslim Brotherhood called on followers to escalate revolutionary defiance activities every day until together we defeat the junta and topple the illegitimate military coup regime. The piece concludes, some of the Muslim Brotherhood's followers are likely to interpret that as an invitation to continue to demonstrate peacefully, although even that in the new Egypt has been outlawed. Others reading between the lines may see it as a call to arms. Abdul Rahman al-Rashid writes in Arshak al-Asat that the opinion of the Grand Mufti of Egypt, who must sign the judge's petition before the sentences are carried out, is yet to be announced before the final court hearing. Yet, he points out, questions remain. Will these provisions be implemented? Will ousted former President Mohamed Morsi be executed? A large number of the Brotherhood's members and ministers have also been sentenced by the judge. Will they also meet their demise through the hangman's noose? He explains, the current political climate is similar to that of the 1960s. High-ranked convicts will be led to the gallows without taking into account calls for clemency and mediations, which will only arise after the confirmation of the sentences. A state of defiance and tension is prevailing in Egypt. He continues, the rulings have entangled all the Brotherhood's leaders because they failed to keep an eye of what was happening around them. They got involved in the battle and became easy targets. He concludes, no one wants to witness bloodshed in Sinai or in Cairo, regardless of the final verdict. However, it seems that the situation will inevitably become inflamed in the country if President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi doesn't interfere and grant amnesty to the Brotherhood's leaders and members. For more updates, please visit Levant.tv. And subscribe to Mideast In Depth on iTunes. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.